As of this past weekend, it's officially autumn in the Northern Hemisphere. Temperatures are dropping, days are shorter, and in Vancouver, Canada, it'll be raining from now until mid-spring, which can make shooting a little bit more difficult, but if you love something enough, you find a way to make it work, uh, wet feet and all. In today's video, we're going to revisit the 8.44 grain Barracuda 8 pellets. They're a newer offering from H&N that is optimized for field target and hunter field target shooting, but due to their reliable accuracy, dome shape, and medium weight for a 177 cal pellet, these will likely make solid small game hunting or pest control ammo as well. In our introductory episode of this pellet deep dive series, the Barracuda 8 actually didn't group too poorly, however I had a strong feeling that it could do better, and in the next four groups it becomes pretty obvious that these pellets are capable of fantastic performance, as long as the shooter does his or her part. And I do my part here, more or less. <laughs> Coming up you'll see a few fun examples of how to pull shots and ruin groups that had otherwise awesome potential. All the groups in this video will be 5 shot groups off of a bipod at 30 meters and the footage will be sped up to save time. All the groups will be shot from a magazine because I prefer that over the single shot trays that uh, the Corral MPO3 uses. Okay, let's get shooting. In this first, almost great group, we have three pellets in one hole and the two shots that I pulled. I don't know what my problem is. I promise that I'm generally a good shooter. Unfortunately, when the camera is on, the nerves kick into high gear and I can practically feel my focus falling apart. If nothing else, I hope this is relatable and doesn't distract from the pellet testing too much. In the second group, I do manage to pull things together a little bit, and I get a group that I'm pretty happy with. I then try to duplicate that group on my next attempt, and end up with another three pellet single hole group with two weird flyers. Okay, so our fourth and final group is exactly what I was looking for. It's nice and tight, it's not perfect, but I think by this point it's pretty obvious that the issue here is with me, and not with the pellets or the gun. I would like to revisit these Barracuda pellets again at some point, uh, with the gun rested in a vise for a little more consistency, but for the time being I'm pretty happy with this. Let me know down in the comments if you battle nerves while shooting, and if there's anything you do to get over them. Also, feel free to let me know what you'd like to see in upcoming pellet deep dive videos. I'm always open to input and suggestions. As it stands though, I think the next pellet up will be the 10.65 grain Barracuda Match Pellets from H&N. And speaking of our friends over at H&N, please head on over to their website or social media to check out all the awesome products they have on offer. I will drop all of their info down in the description below. Thanks for watching and have an awesome day.